dying? What's, what's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. I just need to be with my daddy right now. Oh? Why, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know, I know. Isn't it awesome? I knew that you would love it. No, 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 no. I, that was a shocked and horrified, oh, my God. It's bloody awful. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm 18 years old now and I can make my own decisions. Miss Margaret, your hair, it makes you look so much younger. No one will ever believe you're 18. I love it. Well, I hate it. And I'm going back blonde. <laughs> She's easier to work than a Muppet. <laughs> Since you're feeling so clever, maybe you can help me with a rather delicate situation. Oh, sir, who cares if your mother's not coming to the wedding? Miss Fine has more class than she'll ever have. Isn't it interesting how you knew of it before I told you about the delicate situation? <laughs> you know, sir, that haircut makes you look three years uh, younger. No, no. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Do you think I should tell Fran my mother's not coming to the wedding? Well, sir, if I've waited this long to tell her, I should think it's the least you could do. <laughs> Yes, hello. Hello, Mrs. Toriello. What? Well, where? Well, yeah, yeah, I, I just got a pen. Hang on. Val, Fran and Sylvia haven't come back from New Jersey and now their car has been found abandoned on the side of the road. Oh, dear. Yes, yes, Mrs. Toriello, I'm, he I'm here. All right, good, I'm, I'm on my way. Don't worry, Mrs. Toriello, I'm sure everything is just fine. Yes, I'm sure you're right, sir. They're very resourceful women. nature program we saw where those bears made a spout in the tree so syrup would come out so they could eat? Well, those bears were Yogi and Boo Boo. <laughs> I cannot believe this is the night before my wedding and I'm stuck on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere with you, my mother, and that stupid snake. <gasps> <laughs> She would have told me earlier we could have used the one next to the car. <laughs> hello? Hello, hello. Is there a problem? I'll say there's a problem. We're stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm supposed to be getting married in less than 14 hours, and we're starving to death because my mother ate my underwears. <laughs> all right, why don't all of you stay calm? We got your uh, call box number. We'll send someone out to you in a few hours. A few hours? No, no, sir, you don't understand. I've waited five years to marry this man, and it's true, we had some problems in the beginning. Well, not we, but he... But he did! He did! My family loves him, and, well, his mother adores me. You know, it's, it's really such a beautiful story. I mean, some say it's pathetic, but, you know, I'm going with beautiful. 